Let's start things out in VA with a wild story from Martinsville where a goat joined in a police chase and actually helped flush out the suspect so officers could arrest him. Now, this goat is the goat. You can't say the name about, you can't say the same, by the way, about that suspect because he almost got away from the cops, but but then got caught by wildlife. Now, you know he just started ranting like a Scooby-Doo villain. I would have got away with it if it wasn't for that meddling goat. I hope Jamaicans turn you into curry. Shoe program. Now, <laughs> the Henry County Sheriff's Department should deputize this goat clearly. Then they could go ahead and sell the rights to Hollywood. The screenplay rights itself. Billy Goat Justice taking down the bad guys. Hey. I never said it was a good screenplay. I have plenty of bad ones on my laptop. Then again, they made 14 different Air Bud movies. If folks will pay to see a dog play sports, you mean to tell me they're not gonna watch a goat fight crime? I mean, if McGruff could do it. Now, let's go ahead and stay in Virginia for this next story. Arlington-based Toby's Homemade Ice Cream is opening a second location in Vienna thanks to the popularity of the cicada-themed sundaes they sold last summer. Now, before y'all say ill, before you lose your dinner, these sundaes were designed to resemble cicadas. There were no actual cicadas in the sundaes, unless a cicada accidentally flew into one, which probably actually happened because they have no sense of direction and they are ultimately looking for love, so they would be attracted to a large cicada. This is basically the cicada version of a thirst trap. But I digress. As much as people complain about cicadas, would you just look at their beautiful legacy? People in Vienna have a new place to get ice cream thanks to our loud, big-eyed friends. Now, they're not going to be back for another 17 years, but when they return, I hope this place is still in business because they need to properly thank the Cicada community for giving their sales a boost. In fact, we should all properly thank the Cicada community. Y'all be better people to them when they come back because you know Reese, Reese loves the Cicadas. We got that on film. Show that to them next time so they don't come get me. Up next is a story from D.C. where council members are considering a bill to use surplus funds at the end of the fiscal year to give city residents $100 a month to use the metro. Now that, that's not a bad deal, I'm just, I'm just saying. It's, it's, it's hard to complain about single tra tracking when somebody else is picking up the tab. My inner cheapskate is pleased. Now the city hopes that this will be an incentive for people to drive less, which is ironic because you know those red light cameras contributed to this budget surplus. Drivers should take the metro just to get their money back. Now, the bill is structured so balances would restore to $100 each month instead of adding $100 a month to your existing balance. Just putting that out there for all you scammers. Don't start getting any ideas because you all know you were. Everybody out there who says things like, you can't pay me to take the Metro. They just said challenge. They put you to the test. Gas prices are high and the government is paying your fare. Let's see how strong your resolve really is. Now, I chose this last story out of Florida because it's just so ridiculous. It's great. We, we, we can't not give you this. According to the Brevard County Sheriff's Department, a man was recorded attempting to steal a crossbow by shoving it into his sweatpants at a true value hardware store. Come on, man. Really? That's what we're doing, dog? That's, that's really what we're doing? A whole crossbow. You know what? This deserves a play-by-play -play breakdown. Now, notice the decoy crutch, which by the way is genius. Just one decoy crutch, mind you, which not only is genius because nobody ever checks whether or not it was one or two crutches. You just assume it was two and now he has that other hand which is free for the theft. Play on player, there he sees. Oh, by the way, did I miss this? Notice this bucket hat right here, which, which really underscores his lack of judgment. Out here with a bucket hat in 2022, only Florida man. Then he walks right up to the camera as if to say, identify me, shows his whole grill. Then this man stuffed the whole crossbow in his sweatpants and under his shirt. Here you see him limping away like nothing is wrong. Grabbed the decoy crutch and limped away like it wasn't painfully obvious that he was stealing something. This is the most Florida robbery I have ever seen. Look at that goat getting a nice little callback. Now, 
As soon as he got out of the store, you know he probably went Kaiser Soze and walked normally. 27-year-old spoiler alert, by the way. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't have a crossbow in his sweatpants. Now, the craziest part is he actually didn't get caught until days later after the staff reviewed security footage and alerted law enforcement. He almost got away with this comically bad theft. How lazy is that staff at the store that they didn't notice a crossbow shaped bulge in that guy's clothes? Or how blessed is Florida man that it looked normal? I need to know. I need answers. Eventually they did catch him and charge him with felony petty theft. Now I'm just happy that this video exists because it's brought me so much immense joy. My favorite story, do I even have to say it? Of course it's Florida crossbow man. It's so ridiculous. I got to telestrate it. The only downside, all of a sudden Hank the Tank has a challenger for the cake of the week.